morning and happy Monday. It is a new week and a new vlog and I'm starting the week being completely up to date with editing and uploading and I'm so happy. I just had set to myself to target to catch up on everything. So there was a lot of videos uploaded over the weekend. That's why. Told my Alfie crying in the background. I'm not neglecting my child. I've just told him that he's not allowed to flood the bathroom. That's all. Um, I am off in 10 minutes to drop the boys off at James's mom's because I have to go to the hospital. I'll be there for about two to two and a half hours. I have my physio appointment. I also have an appointment for like a first review of my new treatment. Um, the um, doctors I see work together in a way. So they have managed to group the appointments. So I don't need to go on several days. I, ha I go there, I have all my appointments and that's me done for a bit. I don't know if I'm going to have any appointments before we go to France after this. I might have one physio one, I'm not too sure. Um, she might want to squeeze one in before I go. Uh, we'll see, but I'll find that out whenever I go. I'm now at the hospital. I've actually put sunscreen on whenever I was at James's mom's. I was putting some on the boys and I figured it's very hot and it's very sunny outside and I burn very easily and I always park at the farthest away car park because it's free and then I walk over so I could potentially get burnt in that space of time knowing my skin so I thought I would put a sunscreen on so I'm very shiny you can't see it my smell of sunscreen but it's putting me in the summer mood of I'm going to France in two weeks and I still feel like autumn is coming it is technically but do you know we're gonna have a good bit of summer there and it doesn't feel like it's yet, it doesn't feel real. So I'm gonna to head to the all my appointments and I will catch up with you a bit later on when I'm finished. So quick like that, I've got my, my, I left my camera in the glove box compartment and it's roasting, it's like so hot I can't hold it. Anyway, I'm finished my appointments, both went really well. Um, the For my bowel treatment, sorry, I, there's a lot of sun, I don't know how to make you see me properly. You'll have, that's what we'll just have to do. It doesn't work. Well, <laughs> anyway, for the bowel treatment, um, everything went fine. She's very happy with how it's going and she thinks I could get really good results. Um, so far it looks very promising, which I completely agree with. Um, she tweaked it a little bit to see if it would work better with me. And then I had my physio um, appointment and that went really, really well. I've made a lot of progress lately, which is really encouraging for future appointments. Sadly, my physio is moving on to a new um, job placement, so um, she won't be there next time. It's another physio taking over. I'm sure they will be really good, but I got this woman potentially changed my life. Uh, she went beyond what she was supposed to deal with for me. Uh, she's the one who got me to start new bowel treatments, which nobody offered to me, not even bowel specialists before, and she could potentially change my quality of life massively. So I. I don't think I will ever forget this woman in my life. Uh, and she said to me, uh, you're that patient I will never forget. And I was like, oh, this is nice. I've worked really hard with her and uh, it, it just clicked and it was nice. Um, but uh, luckily she was able to leave me her email address so I can keep her updated on how everything is going. And that's nice because I just feel really, I find it really difficult when you work really hard at something with somebody on, on the project technically and because my it's going to take me probably several years to get completely better uh, on that side of things um, it's very difficult to see people coming and going and not being able to see it through to the end if you know what I mean so I was glad that I could contact her by email because it means I can keep, keep her updated she was very very passionate about my issues and trying to make my life better and she's done everything she could to do it so I'm glad I can update her. So I'm feeling very, very positive right now. Um, I do love the people I'm working with at the minute. And I'm sure the new physio that's taking over is going to be great as well. Uh, but um, those are people who are passionate about their job and can make such a massive difference in people's lives. I, I could never, ever thank these women enough. So that's amazing. I'm now going to go and pick up the boys. Now I kind of... I think I'm gonna go to Lidl first to pick up a few things uh, before I have them. I think it's earlier than I was meant to be finished. Yeah, I'm gonna stop by Lidl on the way, right beside James's mom's, uh, just to pick up a few things so I don't have to do it with the boys. And then I'll go and pick them up and go home. Uh, I'm waiting on a big delivery of medical equipment, 
which I'm hoping <laughs> comes as planned and uh, yeah everything is good I'm very positive so I will see you a bit later on so I'm home now Afi fell asleep at his granny's and he kind of woke up on the way home and he wasn't very happy so he's watching Paw Patrol he had a bit of milk and he's slowly waking up but I received two things in the post well I have received more things but two cool things in the post um, there's one thing I've been trying to get for years and I couldn't get it because my entitlement to it wasn't completely proven since starting my new treatment it now is and i'm the proud owner of a no waiting card now this may sound silly what is a no waiting card a no waiting card is when you have a bowel condition and it might mean that you need to go to the bathroom very quickly when you're in public places it can be very stressful and you might not be able to go there so this is a card that you can show in restaurants or in shops or in public places where um, it says the holder of this card has a medical condition please allow him or her to use your toilet facilities urgently thank you for assistance and people are not meant to you can make a complaint if people refuse for you to have access to your bathroom if you hold this card at times um, I have to go to places where there's no clear marked toilets and this is very stressful and I usually avoid those places and I feel like holding that card takes some of the stress away. I don't know if I will use it or not, but I have it. And it's also a recognition of that my condition is real. And because it's an invisible issue, <coughs> a lot of people don't know what I have, but it's pretty, um, it takes over a lot of my daily life. So um, having something that officially says, yes, you have that, it's, in a way, very, very, it feels good. Second thing is not directly related, but kind of. As you know, I'm collecting Momiji dolls and uh, I buy a new one or I get a new one for special events. Mm -hmm. Some of them also I had as, as gift, but they mark special time in my life. Um, since I started this treatment, I've been wanting to get a new one to mark this because it could potentially be life changing for me. And, um, in the ones that are, were available but I didn't have yet, I couldn't decide between a few. So I thought I'll just wait and whenever it becomes clear which one makes more sense, I will get it. And then I received the newsletter and I saw the newest one. And I'm going to show you and you, you probably will understand why I had to get this one. It kind of looks like me a little bit. Look, it's a ginger one with like a, a tree trunk thing, like a, a nature one with ginger hair, long hair. And she's so cute, I love her. She's called Kindness and um, I absolutely love her. So this is my new one. And it's kind of the new me with my, <laughs> not my new bell. I wish I could get a new bell sometime, but with my, my new um, semi-functioning bell, let's say. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased about this. And then I also received letters to confirm there was a lot of things I haven't been getting what I was entitled to lately. I can't go into details about it, but some very unfair situations and um, I decided to contest them and I've just received confirmation that um, it was accepted and I would get what I was entitled to and it feels very nice. So today is a day where kind of feel like all the rubbish we've had the past few months not rubbish but there's been a lot of things that didn't go to plan or were very stressful I feel like it's all getting sorry of the baby trying to get hugs hello hello um, it's all falling into place and it feels very very nice so I'm very very pleased <sighs> I'm going to relax I'm probably going to stop the vlogging for today and I'll continue in the morning um, I have a very itchy eye, sorry. It's hay fever. Like, whenever it's sunny, then the hay fever gets really bad. And right now, my eyes are so itchy. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna just relax, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy hiccups outside, and um, yeah, just have some nice time with my little monkey. My big monkey still there is upstairs playing. My little monkey is uh, in, a, in a huggy mood. Well. <laughs> Hello monkey. Are you gonna say bye bye? Say bye bye. Say 
Bye bye camera. Bye bye camera. Bye bye camera. Good morning and happy Tuesday everyone. Do you want to say where we're heading Owen? To the hairdressers. <laughs> okay, the car hairdressers is in mother care. They have a place called Kitty's Cuts. It's a uh, baby children hairdressers. And right now I'm taking the easy option out even if it's more expensive uh, than the normal hairdressers because they both sh excuse me. Can I explain something without you shouting in the back? He's very shouty today. Very shouty, very shouty boy. Well, Can I explain something please? Oh, this little guy needs a haircut before we go to France. And I just wanted to, to get a good shorter haircut because of the heat there. Oh, I need a haircut too because he has a lot, a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to get too hot otherwise. So, taking the easy option out, I'm on my own to bring them both to that. So I'm going to go to the one there because they basically sit in little cars and watch Peppa Pig or whatever is on the TV. Yeah. Get a lollipop and all that to distract them. It's very, it's only for children, so... I can't uh, deal with the hassle, but it's cheaper on a Monday. No, you're fine, but we're going there anyway, so you might as well get yours done there as well, will not we? Yeah. Right, well, so, babe. can I please explain? <laughs> oh my God. I guess you didn't know, Owen is a chatterbox. He never, ever, ever stops talking. All day long he talks, <laughs> don't you? Those are the kind of videos. Oh, just when he does videos, okay. Um, anyway, we're going there. And then we'll come back home. Alfie might fall asleep on the way back. I don't know. It's almost 11 o'clock, I think. But on Monday and Tuesday, you don't need an appointment. Uh, it's very quiet days for them, so it's cheaper to go those days. And you can just turn up anytime. I phoned this morning to make sure I wouldn't need an appointment. And she'll just come anytime because it will be dead today. So that's what we're going to do. Dead? It means dead means that there's going to be nobody there. Oh. Okay, right. Let's go to the hairdressers. Yeah. I don't know, I don't think I will film in there because I'm going to have to distract Alfie and I don't want the stress of having to have the camera in so I will see what I can do but otherwise you'll see them with a new hair in a wee second Hi. in the vlog. So it's finished and as planned I couldn't vlog because right, they have a haircut, both of them. And Owen, do you want to explain what Alfie did the whole time? Hey, scream. <laughs> Alfie was terrified, he screamed. So my cardigan I had, it wouldn't wear the little cape. My cardigan is... I don't know if you can see it's absolutely covered in hair I have hair I don't know if you can see no it's not very visible everywhere on me because I was I ended up hugging him really tight to stop him from moving and to try and reassure him while she was trying to cut his hair but the result actually she did a really good job she was very patient hello baby we both got kinder eggs yes I, I treated them to a kinder egg there at the end because they deserved it. I kind of deserved a prize too after this. But uh, we're gonna go home now. I have no idea what time it is. Let's check on the car. It is quarter past 12 roughly. So we're gonna go home and have lunch and just have a restful afternoon because that was a bit much. Yeah. Alfie's gonna get a little bath as well because it's covered in hair and uh, I'm gonna get changed because I'm covered in hair. Yeah.